How's it going everyone? What you're going to see today is probably the last episode of sniping highlights for Battlefield 3. I know, it's bittersweet. But trust me, uh, since this is probably one of my more popular series on my YouTube channel, uh, I'm obviously going to keep it going come Battlefield 4 with the beta coming out in less than a week for me now as I make this. It's next week it'll be out. So I'm obviously going to be continuing this series for Battlefield 4. I'm going to remake uh, my sniping tutorials uh, for Battlefield 4. Uh, even if even if the engine and the mechanics feel exactly the same, I'll still probably remake it anyway. Uh, that way, all the people that are new to my channel uh, can probably see it, probably get, uh, learn it on the fly as well. Or if you weren't actually, if you didn't actually see them at all, then you don't have to watch old ones that are outdated. You can just watch the new one as I produce it. It works out easier this way. Uh, I'll probably be doing long range sniping tutorial over again as well. Uh, and this time I have a range finder so I'll teach you guys once I learn myself how to use it. How to set it up for most effective situations to see if the bullet drops still the same. Uh, and I'll probably try out different sniper rifles as well so that way you get a majority uh, mix. Or you get to choose between all of them and choose the best one for your situation and your preference. Uh, but of course they come down to whether or not you have a nice shot sniping that dude. But of course it comes down to your preference. Purely down, coming down to what you like. Uh, if you like increased bullet drop, decreased bullet drop, high bullet velocity, the range that you wish to snipe. Uh, that and I'm going to have to actually check out the maps. I'm going to have to check out the spots most people like to go. If people are going to snipe, which I imagine they're going to be a lot more with this range finder and a 40 times ballistic scope. 20 time hunter scope as well. Uh, so if it does encourage more sniping and everyone isn't crying about the play the objective types for snipers despite the fact that I've seen more support engineer and assault guys actually bleed more tickets and are more of a detriment to the team and not playing the objective than a sniper sitting back then hey I'll uh, I'll continue that process too but that's a that's a different debate with a whole bunch of people I do not wish to even engage the conversation with so I won't touch that but yeah, unfortunately this is probably one of the last, because I'm just cleaning the hard drive now, I only have a 3-4 more videos worth of Battlefield 3, which I'll be posting soon enough. Uh, uh, and they'll be the last ones probably for Battlefield 3, unless Battlefield 4 is a colossal flop, uh, which I doubt it is. But we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoy this last bit, hope you guys enjoy the series, and well, stay tuned for Battlefield 4, which will be on, well the beta at least for me will be coming out in less than a week. Uh, but the game itself will be coming out, well, pretty much right after my birthday, so stay tuned. See you later.